So, autism and YouTube, okay? Two things that you, you probably wouldn't think would go well together, okay? Now, speaking from, again, this is the Scottish Aspie. My name is Paul Third, and I also have um, another YouTube channel that's now over three and a half thousand subscribers, okay? It's a music and mixing channel, all right? Now, what I want to speak about today is creating a YouTube channel, all right? Being an Aspie or somebody on the autism spectrum. And this is kind of directed to parents as well, okay? If your, like, child or your kid or your teenager, like, wants to start up a YouTube channel, about something they're really, 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 really passionate in, okay? It can actually be a fantastic thing, but it can also <laughs> be upsides and downsides, okay? So let's kind of get into the positives and negatives of um, starting a YouTube channel being on the autism spectrum. Right, so let's kind of start off with some positive, okay? So in terms of like a positive about starting up a YouTube channel as an Aspie or somebody on, like with autism is that you get to share your passions. Now, normally what you'll find is quite common on the autism spectrum is that we have passions, right? The fuck? And ADD. <laughs> I just fucking got distracted by a bit of fluff. Fucking hell. So we become focused. Sometimes a little bits of fluff, but um, normally we become focused um, on our passions, okay? Um, it might be like comic books. It might be drawing. It might be a certain TV channel. It might be a sports team. It might be just something. You'll normally find that there's something that we are completely devoted and completely focused and passionate on. For me, it's music and um, mixing and audio engineering. So, for me, um, I was a store manager and I was in retail because, again, I, I went, I left uni, but I had to be a big boy. <laughs> I got married, had kids, and I had to put food on the table. But I became very, very unhappy because I wasn't able to fulfill like what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something with music and continue doing something with my degree and keeping in touch with audio engineering, okay? I didn't want to lose that passion. And I was feeling unhappy because I couldn't keep that passion. And I didn't have people to speak to because nobody cared about it. Now, what happened was starting a YouTube channel was I was able to kind of take all the stuff that I wanted to do and push that into a community that actually cared. And then from there, you know, you think about it now, I've got over three and a half thousand subscribers on that channel and honestly I speak to at least 15 audio engineers a week and it's just, honestly people just message me all the time and just like Paul what's your view on this I love this video I love this are you going to do this and people just want to speak to me and I'm very open and again another engineer said this to me it's like you're very social Paul I'm like yeah I'm social like to audio engineers because you want to speak about something that I want to speak about if you want to speak about the weather and like cars and stuff like that I'm like fucking a block <laughs> you'll get blocked and removed from the channel I'm like fucking don't want to speak to you about that and you'll normally find that if you have spoken to me I'm, I only want to speak about audio engineering half the time because that's all I'm interested in. And it's great to have people that have the same interests as you because that's very hard for people on the autism spectrum is to socialise with people. So, like, when I'm around people, I don't want to speak to them about their job and their interests. It's hard for me. I don't care. I want to speak to them about my interests. So the good thing is I could have a place in a community where I could do all that. So if I need to speak about the boring stuff with other people, I don't feel like... I used to get really annoyed because I was like... God, like uh, nobody, uh, nobody wants to speak to me about my geeky stuff. Nobody wants to speak to me about music and like audio engineering and mixing. Nobody wants to do that. So it was really, really cool for me, and it still is to this day to have that kind of outlet. Now the problem, um, this comes into the downside with um, starting a YouTube channel with being on the autism spectrum or having Aspergers or ADD, is the fact that it consumes us massively massively consumes me and I'm in this routine where it's like every Wednesday, Mix and Wednesday, if if anything gets in the way of my Mix and Wednesday video, I am a mess. I'm a horrible person to be around. The thought of a Mix and Wednesday video not going up on a Wednesday gives me the absolute fear. I mean, like, it makes me anxious. It makes me physically angry to the point where I start throwing stuff. Honestly, you've not seen the meltdowns that I have because I'm like, panicky that I'm not going to get a video out in time and honestly like, my wife goes Paul nobody will even notice but I'll notice and that's and that's all because it's my routine and it's what I'm interested in and I'm in a place just now and I want to share this with you guys that I'm in a place just now where I'm not doing good in terms of like balance and everything I'm not I, I, I'm getting to a point where I'm so enjoying speaking to this audio community and I'm like interested in all this stuff that I'm kind of getting to a point now where I'm like I don't 
need to speak to you because I've got these people. I'm like, I'm kind of numb a little bit. I'm kind of like sitting there like, I just want to go back to my audio engineering because I can. And that's the problem is that I've got this community now where it's like they give me kind of all the stuff that I want, but I've got a family, I've got friends. It's like they still want to interact with me. And it's that thing of learning that I've still got to do all that boring stuff. I've still got to speak to them about like what they're doing in their life and their day and where they're away to go on holiday and like how crap fucking COVID is and like fucking Auntie Jean down the road had a fucking sniffle. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's like, oh, the dog's know well. Oh, I took the dog on a walk last week. You know, I've got to still socialise with people. And that's, that is a worry that you become so kind of in your lone little bubble that that then goes, that's all you need. So that's something that I've got to watch. You know what I mean? I've got to, I'm not doing well spending time with the girls and giving them the amount of attention that they need because I'm, my, my own daughter has said to me loads of times recently, I'm like, Daddy, why are you always on your phone now? And I'm finding myself on my phone all the time because I'm consumed with analytics. And that's another thing that you've got to watch is that normally we're very consumed with numbers. Or we can be. I'm, a, I'm, a num- I'm numbers orientated. I'm very target driven. That's why I was so good at sales. It was I'm, I'm numbers driven. So I look at the subscribers. I reply back to every single comment. And that could be quite, especially as the channel grows and especially on that massive video. I had a video that got over 30,000 views in like a fortnight. And I reply, honestly, I've been replying to every single comment and it was too much. Like my wife and my dad had to say like, Paul, stop replying to all these comments, Paul. Like, oh, but the engagement, the engagement. And it's like numbers, figures, I'm getting all these subscribers. And he's like, Paul, we want to speak to you, Paul. He went, what? You're ignoring your own children just because you want to get, like, you want to like reply to somebody that's like, doesn't even care if you reply to them back. And that's the thing that you've kind of got to be, as, as an autistic person, I'm telling you, that you've got to be very, very, very careful. Very, very, very careful indeed about not letting it consume you, take over your life. So as a parent, this could be a very, 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 very good thing for them. And honestly, it can give them a sense of purpose and it puts them in a community where they can be a little bit more happier. Where you do have to watch is that, again, there is trolls, right? I'm lucky because I'm high functioning, right? There is times where I get in debates with trolls. I fucking honestly, I'm so bad at it. I don't know that they're trolls they say something and I think it's a debate when really what they're doing is they're just saying something to kind of like like me just go hook, line and sinker. I'll take it and I'll spend like so much time replying, commenting and arguing with them and they're just like, happy days, I'm wasting your time. Where I'm lucky is that when it does get nasty and I do get nasty comments, there is a hide um, user from YouTube. You can just delete the comment, hide. I've I Honestly, I've hidden quite a few people because there's just no need for nastiness. And I could do that. But you've got to be very careful that, again, they don't become that consumed in it that they take everything to heart and, like, trolls start to get the better of them. As soon as trolls know that they can kind of infiltrate you, then they'll continue to do it. And the trolls will just kind of, like, gather together and they'll come at you and come at you. You know, I, I fight back against trolls. I either hide or remove them or I just argue with them to the point where I just make them look, <laughs> like, stupid or idiotic because I know what I'm speaking about. But again, it's a thing where it's like they might not be confident enough to deal with that kind of confrontation online. I could do that. But you've just kind of got to keep an eye on them, okay? So yeah, YouTube could be great, honestly. It's great for them. I know it might be a little bit daunting because like, wow, they're putting themselves out like into this world. But if you keep an eye on it, okay, and you make sure that they're putting themselves in the right communities that support what they're doing, if they get people that support them, they'll look after them. Honestly, I get looked after quite a lot on YouTube because people are really supportive of me and they know I'm honest and they know that like, I do it because like I love it. I do it for the love of it. And I've and it's great to have that network, but it's just a thing where you've got to constantly just be wary and just always try to make sure that they're not going too deep down the rabbit hole. So guys, learn from my mistakes. Okay, I'm trying my best to kind of manage the two. Okay. Don't let it fully consume you all the time. And parents just it's okay. Just keep an eye on them. Just keep an eye on them. Watch their videos, look at the comments and just kind of coach them. Because what you don't want to do is just go, ah, this is too much of a bad, big, bad world for them. No, it could be really, really good because it can get them in these communities. And again, this channel's only got like over like 200 odd subscribers. You know what I mean? That's like my main channel is like the thing I put all my work into, but I still want to do videos speaking about autism because it's, it's important to me. And I still kind of want to keep on doing videos so I can help other people. So if you're kind of thinking about you, you're like on the spectrum and you're making a YouTube channel, then make a comment down below, okay? Make a comment down below. I've got videos on how to grow, okay? If you want to know how to grow on YouTube, you can go on my other channel. I'll leave a link up here and links in the description 
description, you can. I've got three videos on how to start off. So again, your first 500 subscribers up to your first 1,000 subscribers. You know what I mean? I'm at a point now where I'm just growing quite quick. And um, I've helped quite a lot of people as well. And I want to help you out as well because it's important that you get to follow your passions because it'll make you a happier person. Okay, so if you need any help, then again, message me, okay? My details are going to be down below as well. If you want to message me, message me. I'll help you out. I want to help people on the spectrum, okay? I want to be as supportive to you as my community has been to me in the mixing side, okay? So yes, autism and YouTube, it can be great. We just need to support each other, all right? Try it out. If it's not for you, it's not for you. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then whatever, right? Just be happy and doing what you're doing, okay? So my name's Paul Third, Scottish Aspie, and I'll see you again.